So let's go back to an earlier problem. You might recall that when we constructed a finite automaton for the language 1, 0, star, we found a pairwise disjoint set with three elements and a finite automaton with four states. And we deliberately chose our pairwise disjoint set so we could illustrate an important point. It doesn't actually matter how we find the pairwise disjoint set. And this follows naturally from the fact that we can partition our strings into equivalent classes using x squiggle y whenever x and y are indistinguishable. But there are four states. So one of two things is true. Either there's a fourth string that's distinguishable from 0, 1, and 1, 0, or we don't need all four states. So to resolve this, note that when we constructed this finite automaton, we introduced the initial state q0. But when we proved we could use the equivalence classes as the states in our finite automaton, we made the initial state the equivalence class of the empty string. And so the question is, where is the empty string? So let's consider. We want to find x where x squiggle the empty string. In other words, x and the empty string are indistinguishable over our language. So if we append z, then either both x z and lambda z are in L, or they're both not in L. Can we distinguish between the empty string and 1? So if z is not in L, then lambda z, which is to say z, is in L. Could 1z be in L? And if we think about that, the answer is yes. If z is 0, then 1z is the string 1, 0, which is in our language, and so we could distinguish between the empty string and 1. So can we distinguish between the empty string and 0? So suppose z is in our language. Then again, lambda z is z, which is in our language. And 0 z, remember our language consists of repeated 1 zeros, so this is definitely not in L. And so we can distinguish between lambda and 0. Can we distinguish between lambda and 1 zero? So suppose z is in L. Then lambda z which is just z again, is an L. And since z is an L, then z consists of repetitions of 1, 0. So 1, 0, z would add one more repetition and still be an L. Meanwhile, suppose z is not in L. Then lambda z, again just z, is not in L. And since z is not in L, it must contain something besides a repetition of 1, 0. So 1, 0, z will also contain something besides a repetition of 1, 0, and consequently 1, 0, z is not in L as well, and so we can't distinguish between lambda and 1, 0. And so this means that the empty string is in the equivalence class of 1, 0. And since we can use an element of an equivalence class as our class representative, the equivalence class of 1, 0 is the same as the equivalence class of lambda, which will be our initial state, q0. So we only need three states, the equivalence class of lambda, the equivalence class of 0, and the equivalence class of 1. And the equivalence class of 1, 0 is the same as our equivalence class of 0, which is our initial state. 